what was what are the insights that you found in so, terms of emotionally? What well, happened? there were a few things. First of all, I, I started reading a book um, that was called um, Healing Developmental Trauma. Because everything that I was studying, I was studying her from the outside in. I'm, I'm, uh, I have an actor, I'm an actor that has two types of training, right? I have method, which is you study the biography, the inner world of, of a person, right? Um, and then from the point of view of comedy, everything is like you dress outside the outside and then you go in. So I had the luxury of doing both. And by doing this, I dressed her first and everything seemed to be pointing at trauma. The fact that she speaks with a voice like this, it sounds like she's like five years old or something. Yeah. So I was like, okay, what happened there? It's like, it, it seems like she got stuck at five. Mm -hmm. So it hinted at there's trauma there that happened at five. And then supposedly that's one of the reasons why people stay talking like that. And then like the kind of behaviors of having like, you know, 35 year old woman with a room full of uh, posters and stuff. That's a very teenage thing. Yeah. Right, like, cause I I did that when I was a teenager. There were posters all over with my favorite, but by the time I was 17, I was putting them down. I mean, you say 23, but 35 is like, huh, interesting. So everything pointed out at the fact that there there was severe trauma in her life. Mm -hmm. So um, so I started studying trauma, and I started seeing like it's very important for everybody because we all have trauma. Like something can lead to a murder, but sometimes it can lead at yelling uh, to yeah. the person that you love the most. It can lead to bad stuff. Because I mean, we've all been in that situation well, where we're like, ah! Well, there's, there's also the past trauma. You know, trauma is that uh, I, I knew someone who deals with trauma a lot, and he told me a story, a true story. They took mice and they, they sprayed cherry blossoms smell of cherries, and then they shocked the mice. Shocked them. Every time they do it, cherries, it's shock. Electricity. Cherries, shock, yeah. You know. Three generations of mice later, they had mice. They'd never heard, this is three generations of mice. They brought them into a cage. They sprayed cherry, the smell. The mice were all agitated. They were all traumatized. That's three generations that, led, that somehow that mice took it in their bodies and saw trauma. That's, that's very telling. So one of the books that I started reading about trauma was a, a book called Emotion Code that is based on giving you practical tools to release trauma, right? And I was like, oh. I started analyzing, like everybody got like this therapy, right? Because it's very simple. You locate a, a traumatizing emotion from your past, you find it, and then you grab a, 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 a magnet, like a refrigerator magnet, and you run it through one of your meridians, which is like from here to here, and then you say, I let it go, I let it go, and then you say it a couple of times. It's like a little ritual. And then everybody in my family is like, I let go of Trump. I let go of like yeah. everything, right? But, um, Olympia, Olympia. Olympia. It's como una Olympia. It's yeah. like an emotional Olympia. But I realize how important it is. Because, I mean, as Latinos, I, I carry enslaved, uh, you know, native yeah. in me, indigenous. right? Indigenous. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I carry it, it, my DNA. I, I have black. I have uh, Persian. I have Italian. I have, you know, we, we're all, a lot of us are mutts in America, the yeah. continent, right? Uh, so how important it is that we've gone, and, and in any part, even if you're like pure race Aryan European, you know, the whole game of, of pillage and raping and pillage from one town to the other, we all are carrying that trauma intracellularly. Mm. So it's like, we gotta release that stuff. So somehow through meditation, through uh, you know, emotion code through some sort of tool, writing. Writing is an excellent tool to release emotions. Mm -hmm. And that on top of our own trauma, like whatever happens, that leaves, someone gets raped in the family, someone gets killed. I mean, things happen in life. But like I, I told you the story, I lost, uh, I was doing okay as an actress and then all of a sudden my house ended up with mold. I ended up losing everything and I was sleeping in my car. I was homeless for about eight months. It was very hard for two years of my life to start again. So all that is trauma. Yeah. All that creates PTSD. So it's like, how do you overcome these things and just go back? Did you find that, that, that comedy took away trauma or helped heal the trauma in your life? Because you do a lot of comedy. <laughs> I would say yes, uh, yes, but I think that uh, people in the theater have to be very careful because even though theater is therapeutical, theater is not therapy mm -hmm. to me. 
Um, so I can't just do a play and I'm, I'm healed. It's like, I'm healed. I'm healed. By the power of theater, yeah. I'm healed. Right. No. <laughs> but it is very therapeutical. It's like, it, it just the arts reorganizes our brain in, in a way that, that it makes us view life as something more than just the day-to-day. -day. 